What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed that little wash sequence there. I spared you the boring parts of me drying, quick waxing, and trying to get all the water spots off the wheels. And that is exactly the reason why I always ran black wheels on my Silverado, just because of maintenance. Me and maintenance, we're just not friends like that. And that is exactly the reason why I did not spend the extra money for polished wheels for this truck, just because, um, these little chrome ones keep me busy enough. And uh, if you know uh, anything about Pennsylvania, it rains just about every day. We got a lucky one today. So uh, got the truck cleaned up real quick so that way we can shoot the video. And in today's video, this is something that I believe every HD truck owner needs to do in their truck's lifetime. If you don't have cab lights on your HD truck, you definitely need to get cab lights. And if you do have cab lights on your HD truck, you need to upgrade your cab lights. To me, cab lights on an HD truck, that just kind of completes the whole look and feel of a big heavy duty truck. The cab lights and the mirror lights, of course, just because it gives it that mean, aggressive like dance, if you will. Um, and then, I don't know, personal opinion, once you start adding like rock lights and like chicken lights along the bottom, eh, to me, it gets a little bit too much, but hey, to each their own. And that's exactly what we're doing today, though. We are replacing the cab lights upgrading the cab lights on the truck with a nice set of recon nice set of recon cab lights oh almost lost them these are a nice uh, so these are smoked it's a smoked lens with a nice white LED light and the whole reason why we're doing this and the whole reason why we're doing this is just because I'm trying to white out all the lights on the truck. As you, uh, if you watched the last video, we replaced the old halogen headlight bulbs and fog light bulbs for nice white LED ones. And the marker lights, like the cab lights on the top of the roof, they are currently lit up amber. You can't really see them too well, but the mirror lights are also lit up amber. And what we're trying to do, we're trying to get everything nice and white. So these recon cab lights are gonna light up white. And then actually next week, hopefully, if, uh, if everything aligns properly, our friends at Boost Auto Parts has in the mail a nice set of smoked mirror light lenses that are gonna light up white but switch back yellow or amber whenever I put my turn signal on. And then the only thing we'll need to do to the front end is decide whether or not I want to send these headlights, like the housings in to get rebuilt to get rid of this amber lens. This is actually a white lens, but it lights up amber just because uh, turn signals and whatnot. Um, or if I want to actually buy a nice set of like Morimoto's or other LED aftermarket headlights just to get rid of all the amberness on the front end of the truck. And the whole damn thing is going to be nice and white, light up really nice going down the highway. And uh, it's going to look kind of badass in my opinion. So it's going to be a pretty quick install. These don't take a whole long time to put on. The cab lights that are on the truck right now, they come off with like a Torx bit. So I'm just going to pull those off, unplug them, put these guys in place. Make sure they work, plug them in obviously. And then it's not recommended or necessary, but I am gonna use like a clear silicone just because I am afraid of cab lights leaking and I do not want any water in my cab. So I'll put a nice, I'll put a nice ring of silicone along the outer edge of the new cab lights, put them on, see what they look like, and uh, kind of go from there. Should be game over. And then next week, hopefully, if if our boost package arrives, we'll be doing the mirror lights and the front end of this thing should look pretty dang good. Like I said, step number one is pulling the old guys off here. And that's just with a T20 Torx bit. Damn, that's a long bolt. Whew. So here's your lights side to side, side by side. Those are gonna look really good. Let me take this plastic piece off. Yes, ma'am, that's a hell of a difference. Those are gonna look really good. All I gotta do is plug this one in, same thing. Like I said, here is like a bunch of material to not make it leak, but I'm gonna be 100% sure and I want to, like I said, put some silicone around this so that way it doesn't. The factory one has it all over the place, let me see. Aha, okay, so you put these, so you put one of these little guys on this side so it doesn't leak, but I'm still gonna do a little bit of silicone just to make sure. All right, so you should be able to see him. I apologize for my neighbors making a ruckus. Look at that. White LED light versus the uh, 
the ambers that looks pretty damn good not gonna lie I like it I like it a lot just for ease and convenience, I'm actually just going to put the camera like up there or something like that. Do the whole thing in a nice time lapse. Uh, I want to replace all these first. Make sure they work before I honestly silicone and screw them back down. And kind of go from there. Because the roof is super hot. There's nowhere to put my camera. I live on a hill. Camera's going to fall. Enjoy this time lapse. just like that they are done they're on they look really good with the lights off obviously it's gonna it looks weird right now with the uh, the mirror lights being not smoked uh, but they will be as of next week hopefully uh, looks pretty good off well, let me turn them on they definitely look good on too I can see them a little bit better in person I'll give you some night shots here And hopefully you agree, these things look freaking good. I did end up off camera running a bead of silicone around every single light, just for the pure fact that I do not want water leaking into my truck and into the cab and ruining the headliner and everything. So that was like a safety precaution. So hopefully that works pretty good. And uh, that's it guys. That is it, like I said, it's easy, that's easy. It's like $150 mod. I'll link these lights in the description below if you wanna get a set yourself. And uh, stay tuned next week because we're gonna be putting the mirror lights on. And just like that guys, game over, lights on, installed. Like I said, a short, nice, easy, simple mod. If you have an HD truck, you need yourself some cab lights. If you already have some cab lights, you need yourself some recon cab lights because these things look phenomenal. Big thumbs up to those guys. I didn't get sponsored, it'd be cool if I did, but um, one day. Uh, the nice thing is Boost, Boost does hook me up. We are friends and uh, we'll have some Boost mirror lights on next week, which is gonna be awesome. Like the video if you haven't already, subscribe, join the family, join the build, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.